Now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning and happy Friday. It's 36 degrees right now in Springfield. We've got cloud cover out there, an east and northeast wind at 13 miles per hour. You can see a couple of gusts. That camera is shaking back and forth a little bit this morning. We've got clouds and rain approaching from the south. A few showers in northern Arkansas this morning. We'll continue to see this head into Missouri through the morning hours here. Again, for right now, we're seeing a couple of showers in Bentonville and Fayetteville. At Jasper, Harrison seeing some light rain. Marshville, um, Marshall and Yellville uh, will continue to see this start to creep north of the border, and we'll probably have a couple of showers um, this morning in Missouri. 36 degrees right now in Springfield. It's 37 in Branson and 32 in Rolla. So as this rain comes through, we're not concerned about ice because temperatures are above freezing. Um, as the rain makes it to central Missouri, we'll start to get these temperatures above freezing up there. Again, we've got this uh, low to the south, a stationary front uh, to the south and east. A couple of showers will come up with this as we head through the day today as we increase that low-level moisture. Then we're watching Saturday's storm currently spinning over the desert southwest. That uh, makes it to uh, our area by tomorrow morning. So hour by hour, we'll have a couple of spotty showers this morning. We'll keep things probably damp through the afternoon, maybe one or two showers. Clouds thick uh, with a temperature of 46 degrees. Temperatures do not go far overnight tonight because we'll keep the clouds and some spotty showers. So we only drop to about 43 degrees overnight tonight. Things staying very warm. Tomorrow, we'll have that stronger system come through. We're looking at a line of showers and thunderstorms through the first half of the day. So about 10 a.m., we'll probably have uh, some showers and rumbles of thunder, some locally heavy rain in here. Uh, with this, we could have an isolated severe threat. I'll detail that in a second. Uh, we'll have that push to the east pretty quickly because we'll have dry air come in right after that. So by 2, 3, 4 o'clock, we'll have things dry, uh, maybe some peaks of sunshine, and we'll have winds really pick up. The wind a threat in the afternoon could be significant for us at uh, 61 degrees for that high temperature. Between today and tomorrow for that rain forecast, we're looking at light rain today, but by tomorrow we could pick up another inch of rain to the south and east here from West Plains to Mountain Home. And that's bad news because that's the area that's already saturated. So Limited flood threat uh, there through Saturday. Uh, not expecting all too much up around Springfield. Then we've got to talk about the severe side of this. Again, the jet stream is going to set up with uh, very strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That will meet with a warm and moist, unstable air mass. The caveat with the forecast for our area is: is look at the look at this greens here. That's the warm and moist, unstable air. It might be tough to get it to Springfield, to our area. So that's why we're looking at an isolated severe risk for us because we'll have one ingredient, but maybe not so much of the other. So we're looking at maybe one or two strong to severe storms, mainly to the south and east of Springfield in this green here, in this marginal risk. We're looking at uh, south of I-44, east of Highway 65. That's going to be where we've got that threat for one or two strong to severe storms. We're mainly looking at a threat for large hail and damaging winds, but an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And then again, we've detailed that localized flooding threat. So what to expect? We've got that severe threat to the south and east from the morning to the early afternoon, mainly wind and hail with an isolated tornado possible. Localized flooding could be an issue, and non-thunderstorm winds gust 45 to 50 miles per hour. It's going to be very windy through the, the second half of the day. And with dry air moving in, we could have an elevated fire danger with that as well, so no outdoor burning. 46 today with some spotty showers, 43 overnight with some spotty showers. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, things windy in the afternoon, gust up to 50. 50 miles per hour possible. 61 will be that temperature tomorrow, and then we'll have cooler but breezy conditions on Sunday.